my name is Jason and welcome back to Catch Fish Not Feelings. This time we're trying something new and I'm spearfishing at Santa Cruz Islands for the first time. Shout out to Rex for setting up this little charger on the Raptor dive boat. My gun of choice for this trip was my 60 inch double roller made by Wells Spear Gun. Our goal for this trip was to shoot white sea bass and yellowtail. After a few hours at a first spot, I couldn't help myself when I saw the biggest calico bass I've ever seen. Of course, I barely miss and with a gun this big, it's sometimes harder to hit a smaller target. I got lucky and actually saw this bass again at the same spot, but by that time it got a little too smart and didn't let me get close. Again, our goal for this trip was yellowtail and sea bass. And I did end up finding a school of sea bass that cruised by, but I missed my one and only opportunity as these guys swam away. Overall, we didn't have much luck with our goal, but a few of us managed to bring home some food. And as for me, I shot my first barracuda. I'll let the video play the rest of the story, and remember, catch fish, not feelings. I'm actually not sure this one's big enough. I'm gonna go fish first. Oh, no, 
not sure what the best way is. <laughs> There's a lot of bait fish out there. Thank you. What was that? No, I'm gonna go back out there. So we get a calico. But I just wanna make sure that one was big enough. Oh perfect. There's a whole school out there. I'll try to get another one. How'd you do thing? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's tons of bait fish out there right now and I've just been waiting there, yeah. waiting for something to cruise by. But there's a lot of these barracudas out there. So we got ourselves one barracuda sea bass hunting was kind of tough out there but we saw tons of barracuda and it was our last dive and i just took the chance to get a my first one hit it right here looks like all the guts came out so it's pretty hard to shoot these guys because they're the target is so small they're long but it's really they're really thin but yeah, you know, I wasn't confident that this one was legal. I wasn't too sure because it's hard to tell. But this one is actually 32 inches, which is well over legal. I think I'm used to seeing uh, white sea bass. You know, like a 30 inch, 32 inch sea bass is like a little thicker than this. So I think that's where my um, perception of uh, whether or not this is legal comes from. But it feels good to beat the skunk and you know, this is actually my first barracuda. These are really cool fishes. Look at that. You know, predators. Got these gnarly teeth. Sorry, these gnarly teeth. And they'll swim in schools. Ambush prey. It looks like they're kind of built like a torpedo. Pretty cool. But yeah, it's a good size one. I feel like in SoCal, it's actually kind of hard to get a legal size barracuda. It's not really that common, but um, yeah, managed to pick this one. I did see one that was bigger in the school, but this one looked good to me too. But let's, uh, let's clean this guy up and we'll process him for eating. Come on. 